What is going on guys? Greg here today. I'll talk about what we can expect this week in Destiny 2 when Reset happens tomorrow, Tuesday, January the 18th. First of all, I'd like to talk about some of the items we can expect to see for sale in the store for Bright Dust. There's a lot of 30th anniversary items, the Dead Man's Tail ornament, the I Like That emote, and the b Hero emote, the Cellular Division ship intro, and also the Burn Shed Reed Shader. These are all, or these were all introduced with the 30th anniversary update, and they will all be available this week in the store for Bright Dust. This week's Exo Challenge will be Simulation Agility, and this week's Empire Hunt will be the Warrior. Make sure you have all of your sabotage things done for Varix. If you're new to the game, that is the way you unlock the Exo Challenge and the Empire Hunt, or the ability to at least get a pinnacle piece from those. And those are two really easy pinnacle pieces, especially the Exo Challenge this week, because Simulation Agility is one of the easier ones available. Also, this week's Nightfall will be Double Drop, so this is a great time to farm the Nightfall. If you don't farm the Nightfall every week, you need to at least farm it on Double Drop Week, because you're able to get double weapon drops, of course, double material drops. This week's weapons are the Hung Jury and the Hothead Launcher. A lot of people like the Hothead Launcher and some of the changes they made to it, and of course, we do know... Uh, next season when the Witch Queen is released that scout rifles will be one of the ways you can stun champions and the hung jury is one really good scout rifle that's available in game one of some people's favorites actually so make sure that you're farming that double drop this week to get you really good rolls on those two weapons and also a lot of material prisms you know all that good stuff this week's crucible playlist will be mayhem uh, this week's shattered realm will be forest of echoes also, Vault of Glass will have the Oracle Challenge, which will give you the Time Lost Sniper Rifle. If you can complete this, you're pretty much guaranteed a God Roll weapon when they have those Time Lost weapons available. And that Time Lost Sniper, I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to that. And last but not least, this week's in, uh, in Dares of Eternity. Of course, you know, we get things rotated out in it every week as well. And the faction weapons and armor are what are going to be available this week in Dares of Eternity. I know there's a lot of people out there that like some of those faction weapons so make sure that you're farming dares of eternity as well this week anyway guys let me comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about this week's update or this week's reset of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you all next time peace